insert generic greeting here. Hey guys, today I'm here with Angela and we have Persian or Iranian candy and snacks for you. I'm not sure which of the two to better go with. I feel like there's people that would prefer one or the other, so I just yeah. feel like I should mention both and everyone should be happy, hopefully. This video actually came to fruition because two years ago I was traveling in Iran. And on the last day we were at the market and bought a lot of stuff. And I was very intrigued by the selection of toffee they had, which was a lot. So I wanted some of every single flavor. And ironically that was the time when I started to not really eat candy anymore. So since two years, this is in my drawers. This is in my drawers. And this is in my drawers. However, that wouldn't be enough to make a whole video on, obviously, <laughs> since it is a lot of different flavors, but then again, it's just toffee. It's not really a representation of the country, in my opinion. So uh, when we today ventured out to go to some shop to get, you know, candy from a new country I haven't tested yet, I got the idea that we could just get Persian stuff and then, you know, make this into a full video, but also give me a reason to finally do something with the <laughs> toffee that is in my drawer since two years. I hope it's still good, but it should be. I think toffee's just sugar, so... Should be fine. We'll hope for the best. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And let me tell you, the stuff we got was heavy. It's not like, you know, 50 things, but there's a lot of bottles in here, which is why this is so heavy. Yeah. And in usual fashion, we're just gonna place this behind us, grab randomly into it, and just go in the order we grab stuff in, I guess. So let's go with that now. I'm excited. Is that fun? Yeah. Something good. Awesome. All right, you can go first. All right. I'm not even sure. Maybe we do the toffee later. Yeah, sure. So we got sort of corn rolls. I guess, yeah. Kind of looking like Cheos as well. Yeah, honestly, maybe there's English on the background. That guy is really cute. Lina. <laughs> it just says corn powder, cheese powder. So it's corn and cheese. So it's basically Cheetos but made of corn. Kind of sounds like food for babies, you know, <laughs> just powder. <laughs> oh no. This does not smell like cheese. Not one bit. It smells like nothing. It smells like air. It is very airy. Mmm! It's not bad. It definitely has cheese flavor. Yeah. It tastes like when I was a kid, um, my parents used to buy like also corn sticks. But just plain ones without any flavor. Do you mean yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love them, but they are usually sweet, so it's really something completely different. Mm -hmm. They're fine. Yeah, I mean, to me, they are a bit too cheesy, but I'm not the biggest mm. cheese fan, so like. I am. Probably everything is gonna be too cheesy for me. It's like really. As if you, as if you bite into a cloud. Yeah. But it's sticky. Mm, absolutely. I instantly grabbed the bottle. <laughs> so this is beer, basically, but it's not really beer. It's like malt beer without alcohol, obviously. I mean, it's Iran. I would yeah. be very surprised if they sell alcohol in an Iranian shop. So, yeah. I'm very curious about this, especially because I hate beer. So I like beer. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's apple flavored. Yes. I have never tried beer with flavor, just like this. <laughs> Hold this for a second, please. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> everything is full of beer now. 
actually smells like apple juice. Yeah, I really smell that right now. The whole room, because everything <laughs> spilled here, the whole room smells like <laughs> apple juice now. But yeah, what I was gonna say is like, with the flavoring, I first would have expected this to be cider, because cider yeah. would also look the same, yeah. but it's literally not cider, and this is so mm -hmm. confusing to me. But then again, I'm not sure if they know cider, technically speaking, in like Iran. Yeah. It looks like cider from the color. If you would give me a glass of that, I would so. It think looks like apple juice. It's the same that. color. You I should don't hold need that, that much. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's so boring. Is that even moldy? It literally just <laughs> tastes like apple, like apple juice. Like actual apples have more flavor than that. Hmm. It tastes very green apple. It tastes like apple juice, but like 10% apple juice, 90% water. I mean, it's basically what we call apfelschorle, which is thin apple juice with yeah. gas in it. I mean, it's not bad, I like it. But it's also like I expected something interesting. Yeah. I'm not really a big juice fan, so... I don't really like it. It's okay, it doesn't taste bad, but it's too boring for me. Ah, I can drink all of it. Go for it. I'm just still confused how this is malt beer. Well, it says non-alcoholic malt beverage, but I still don't know where the malt is. Yeah. Also because it's so much green apple, it almost tastes like pear. Yeah, yeah, actually I was thinking about that. Oh, nice, pick that one. So, it's like fruit paste? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what... It's just very flat, so... It could be dried fruit. M yeah. I think my parents m made that by themselves one time, just like applesauce and then they dried it. It's like a really nice snack for summer. I think you can have it most of exactly that. It looks exactly like that. You can just like roll it up. So yeah, yeah. Like fruit sushi. I know I will hate this. Uh, I don't like that it's like so sticky. Yeah, fair point. It doesn't really smell like anything. Uh -uh. Yep. I much just like, like this. I like it, I like it. I mean, it's not the worst thing I ever ate, but like, to me, it's not good at all. I like it. I like the consistency. It's really chewy. Even it's a bit sour, which I really appreciate. Moving on. Oh yeah. This is Iranian sugar bread. I have no idea what sugar bread is, but. It's this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's so soft. I yeah, thought it was like really crispy. Yeah, I thought so too, but this is like very soft. I'm not sure what it smells like. It just tastes like pastry. Like a biscuit or so. But it also kind of tastes like dried fruit. What? I'm tasting really? dried fruit out of this, yeah. Maybe it's still the apple sauce roll, whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, it just smells like... I don't know. Like the bottom of a cake or so. Mm hmm Yeah, nothing special. Nothing new. I mean, it's still kind of cool because of the shape. Yeah. But like... Besides that, it's really just... Mm -hmm. So, another beverage. Looks like this. It says, free jewels. So probably just some juice. Or lemonade. Oh my god! <laughs> that thing just exploded. What the hell? What? 
Is it supposed to be opened up like this? I have no idea. Oh my god, this... I have never seen that before. Okay, why is that gas coming out of the can? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like banana juice a bit with a bit of pineapple. I do smell the banana, but banana juice smells different. Well, let's get the glasses. It could be banana. It's Why very... does it look so fake? It looks really fake. That's enough, thanks. I don't like that. I hate that consistency. It's really thick. It's like a, I'm drinking like... saliva or so. <laughs> well, then you don't like banana juice, do you? Not really. Because like to me, this is really like banana juice. I don't know. Maybe if you would add like soda, I think then I could appreciate it, but no. You made it weird for me by comparing it to saliva. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we have so many drinks, like almost everything we can grab is a drink. So here we have another, well, this is actually literally called Cheetos, apparently, but it's an Iranian brand. Crunchy cheese. Okay, this is an air package Germany level. You have to stick your whole hand in there. Oh my Even god. Even though it's just opened, yeah. This is <laughs> so huge. Look at the corals. Yeah, I like it. it. Tastes similar to those corn sticks, but a bit crunchier. Yeah. So like actual Cheetos. There's also a bit more spices. Mm-hmm. Like not as in spicy, but like as in herbs-ish. Mm -hmm. Like there's definitely a flavor to it, whereas the other ones didn't really have a flavor much. Oh my god, I really like that. Oh my god. <laughs> There's like nothing inside. I could eat that like in five minutes. Basically. If even. Another drink. The, here's the problem. I'm not sure if this is actually Iranian. Oh shit, I made a mistake. This is not Iranian. Is it Turkish? <laughs> it's Turkish. That's the issue with the store. The store we went to for some reason it was Iranian, but it had a lot of Turkish stuff. And yeah. a lot of the time we were like, is this Iranian now? And we usually went after, you know, the writing. I'm not sure how I ended up buying a Turkish drink. Uh, this doesn't really... You know what? We're gonna include it because I was <laughs> stupid and bought it even though it's not Iranian. <laughs> I hope the Iranian people won't hate me for drinking a thing here. But what even is that? It looks like red wine. <laughs> it's some juice, but it doesn't even say on there what juice it is. It said it in the store, but... What? <laughs> okay. Is that carrot juice? Or like... Maybe. Like betrued? <laughs> oh my god, no. I hate like vegetable <laughs> drinks. Oh no. No, I'm not gonna try that. I think it's like to make a soup or so. No wonder it is it was on sale. Okay, I'm gonna grab something else. Okay. Some walnut flavored cookies? cookies? Mm hmm Oh, I love walnut. Okay, Ooh. nice double packaging. This is absolutely gonna make a mess in my apartment, isn't it? Oh no! They're falling apart entirely. Again, smells like the sugar bread. Ah, oh, tastes like the sugar bread. It has a distinct flavor, but I wouldn't say it tastes like any kind of nut I ever ate before. It smells a bit like ginger. I think that's the flavor I have in my mind. It also tastes a bit like gingerbread. It does, that's what I mean, but like, there's no ginger in here. Mm-mm. 
That's crazy, because it doesn't taste like walnut, not at all. Hmm. It just makes no sense. Apparently it's just walnuts. I mean, it's not bad, it just makes no sense. Yeah, it, it is tasty. All right, so this is a fruit drink with real fruit pieces. I hate but when it's there's peach. peach. Yeah, it's peach, but I hate when there's pieces in. Also, you can open this again because I would ruin it. Um, but I hate when there's pieces in too. So. Oh my god, not again! <laughs> Holy heck! Why is it doing that? I feel like it's supposed to. Mmm, smells like peaches. I love peaches. There aren't That's any enough. pieces. Oh god, so many pieces. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's so many pieces in there. It's again this weird texture. Now this works for the peach though. Oh, this yeah, works really well. But it has a lot of sugar. Peach concentrate, peach puree, peach dices. <laughs> okay, so just a big peach smoothie. Yeah, peach with peach with peach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Again! Cheetos. Why well, they look like flips? The shop didn't have that much of a selection. And yeah. We felt like we already got enough stuff in the end. Yeah. But I also feel like this video is very... Not very varied. Yeah. Like, I feel like we yeah. have the same product every time. <laughs> like, five sugar, flavors. bread, cheese, and weird juices. <laughs> And way too much toffee. Yeah. Yeah, this looks looks like Bamba in Cheetos color. Oh my god, this is like a very neon orange tone. Oh, I like these the most. Oh my god. Oh, this is really my thing. Mm -hmm. They taste exactly like the corn sticks, like the original ones. Yeah. With like a tiny bit of cheese on it. Like, it's not overly cheesy. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, I like that. Okay, uh, next we have, again, the fake beer that is probably not <laughs> even beer, uh, with peach flavor this time. I love how, as you just said, basically everything is in the same flavor. Only cheese, only peach. <laughs> Well, not only that, it's also always the same thing, like it's two juices that are the same, two peers that are the same, yeah. two, three of the cheese puffs. <laughs> True. Again, looks like it would be cider. Hmm. It smells like cider this time. Not more than the other one. Yeah, this has no flavor again. I mean, for me it's very flavorful, but it's weird. Oh wait, I can taste the malt! Like, very, you... very faintly, but like... Just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, the very back, but like, in comparison to the other one, you can tell at least it exists, maybe, kind of. At the same time, I can't really tell if it's actually malt or just peach, you know. <laughs> There are certain things that I don't think should ever be a lemonade flavor, and peach is among them, and this is basically just peach lemonade, and I, I don't like that. I would like this more without, you know, carbonation. How dare you? Peach is so tasty. But of carbonation, it's weird. Yeah, I can definitely appreciate it. But I probably wouldn't buy it again. These bottles are like 1 euro 40. This is very expensive for that. True. It's really expensive though. Okay, there's only one thing left. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Because we had so few juices. Yeah. So we couldn't really tell what fruit this was. It just says... Berberis juice. I don't know what yeah. Berberis is. See, my my family is Russian and my grandma always used to have like those, it's like candy um, and it's actually this fruit 
but I have never seen the fruit somewhere, so... How cool are you put it on a handle? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. A bit like cherry, but not really. It does smell like the healthy juices they sell here. Oh my god, this is so sour. This is so sour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, oh. You can really just take a tiny sip. And like the weird thing is, in Germany we're used to very sour stuff. Our candy yeah. is so sour that when you get sour candy from a lot of other countries, it's not even sour because mm. we're used to very sour shit. So like, what? Uh, would this kill people from some countries? Probably. Oh T totally. I mean, I like sour stuff, but I think when you drink too much of that, you definitely would like get diarrhea. Oh. You wouldn't even think it's that sour because it smells sweet, I'd say. It smells fruity. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be better. Oh, I still hate it. It's I better. I still but, like... can't figure out what this reminds me of. I know that from somewhere for sure. <laughs> oh my no. god, that's so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna drink this shit. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> you know the thing is, initially I was gonna say that it's not even lingering that much, so you, you know when you took a sip you were fine afterwards, yeah. but when I took a sip with the thinned one, it's still on my tongue now. Mm. I'm not sure if the water made it worse, I feel like it made it worse. Yeah, it's like really acidy. Yeah. So now that we tried all of this, let's move to the next part, which is gonna be the toffee and the toffee yeah. and the toffee. <laughs> I'm not even sure if there's a difference between every bag. So we're just gonna start with this one. This looks funky. This is chocolate eclair toffee. Also, the, the company might be Uyui Anata, I'm not sure, something Anata. Yeah. I'm not sure what the writing before that is supposed to be. Mmm. Mm hmm. Toffee is just. Mmm. So good. That was hella tasty. I haven't eaten toffee in so long. Mm. Let's do the blue ones. Mm -hmm. Something Coconut cool. cream. Oh. That sounds very tropical. And the uh, company seems to be called Baraka or something. This is harder. Mm -hmm. This is very coconutty. This one's actually a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. Do you rather want to try the hazelnut ones or with coffee? Hazelnut. Okay. Okay, so here we have Eileen Centerfield Hazelnut. Mm. Oh my god. That's insane. I love those. Persian toffee is just a different world. It really slaps. Oh my god. 18 center filled milk honey toffee, which just kind of looks like a certain toffee we have in Europe a lot. Because they have a yeah. very milky cow brand. Yeah, it's very light. Just oh yeah. Mm. It still tastes different than the German ones. Yeah. Better. Definitely better. Absolutely. 
Persians know what I do with toffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe let's go for a few fruity ones for a change. Oh yeah, totally. So this is a fruit bag, which I never even opened. <laughs> let's start with these. I think this is apple. Yeah, green apple. Uh, yeah, it says sour toffee from Shonis. I think that's what the brand is called. I didn't even know you could like make fruit toffee. Yeah, me neither until they sold it. <laughs> Not sure if it's like per se toffee, but like... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, it's very like sticky. And metal. Mm. It's really sour. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes like this thing here. Frankly, yes. This is something brand new to me, you know? Also the consistency. Oh, you mean fruit toffee as a whole? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is peach flavored, again. From the company Derach Tea. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but it's very melted. Mm. I'm gonna say this. If you like dried fruits, you would love this. I like dried fruits. I don't. Alright, now let's intermix again with one of the not fruit ones. Here we have the company Caramella with center filled butter toffee. Okay. Oh. It's hard to chew. I'm not sure what the thing in the center is. Do you want to try another coffee flavor one for a comparison? Sure. See, I'm a huge coffee fan, so you got a connoisseur here. This is again from Aydin. It smells like coffee. Yeah, I don't have a sense of smell anymore. <laughs> yeah, it does taste like coffee. Oh yeah. Plum. That's real plum. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, this is even worse than the other one. It's oh just, my it's god. It's literally just a paste of it. Ew. Do you want to try another one? Or yeah, let's one? try something else, because this is out of my comfort zone. Hmm, what's that? Is that... Yellow plum. Okay, let's try yellow plum instead. Is there such a thing as a yellow plum? I don't know. Um, I think yellow plums are oh, just yeah. apricots, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. Why does it smell like wooden? <laughs> it smells like a tree. It really does. It tastes like a tree. <laughs> mm. I don't know what yellow plum is, but I'm not a fan of it. Mm. Oh. All right, and the final one from the toffee one is gonna be this one, which is hazelnut from Roho. Not the best one, but it's solid. It's also solid, as in you have to buy it quite a bit. Mm. I don't like the texture. Yeah, it's, it's like really hard. hard. Anyway, my apartment is a mess right now, so we got a lot to clean up in a minute. But it was a fun experience. Definitely. I my def stomach hurts, but <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> there were definitely quite some things I wouldn't have thought of trying. I mean, 
Which None one of it... is your fave? The toffee. The toffee? Yeah. Honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, the rest is still nice, but it's also... Nothing of it was really that surprising of a new world to me, which then again... We probably also might have not picked the most representative yeah. stuff. But as you said, we didn't really have many options. Yeah. Yeah, what? I had a lot of fun. Yeah, we definitely gotta do this <laughs> more often in the future, so... Stay yeah. tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment down below anything you want to comment down below. And if you like videos like this one, or travel vlogs, cooking videos, urban exploring, social commentary, beauty stuff, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point anymore. I do way too many genres. I would just advise you to go check out the rest of my channel, see if there's more content you'd enjoy, and if there is, maybe subscribe and stay up to date with everything I'm gonna post in the future. Until then, hopefully see you next time. Bye! Bye.